Start recording. Keep forgetting to do this. We're going to jump back into this. So we can take Tolarian Academy. Tolarian Academy's busted. Blightsteel Colossus is really sweet if we get like show and tell or tinker or if the channel comes back around. But I doubt the channel will come back around. We could just get take this Tolarian Academy and take all the artifacts we find. We can just take every artifact and not care. I'm just not excited about any of the other cards in this pack. I'm going to take Tolarian Academy. So now we're just going to take every artifact. So we take Batter Skull. There's nothing else that's really that good in this pack anyways. Makes lots of it. So do we take Moat or do we take Scroll Rack? I don't really want to play Scroll Rack. It's either Moat or Scroll Rack. Or Chart, of course. There's also Yawgmoth's Well. I'm take Moat. Maybe so creatures can't attack me. Where's all the artifacts? Yeah. There's not really anything for us in this pack. We could just take Tide Hollow Skuller because it's an artifact. And we might get the fixing for it. But I, I don't think we're going to play any of these cards. All right, I like the Taxium Probe. I'm gonna take Probe, it'll fill up the graveyard and I can play it no matter what. And it's cheap. Godfrey's deck. Imagine we had a Godfrey's gift in our in our deck last time. Um, what's our last card here? We probably can take Lingering Souls. It's kind of mopey, but like if we want to grind, or we can just take a removal spell. I'll take a removal spell. We don't really know what we're doing. Parallax Wave sweet if you have enough like cards with ETBs, which we might get, or things with ETBs. There's nothing else we're playing there. I'll take Force Spike. Force Spikes like. Interaction that you sometimes you sometimes get people with take Vampire Nighthawk just in case. So one pack in, we don't know what we're doing. We have we have a lot of we have some powerful cards, but we just don't know what we're doing. We'd like to find some mana. Like I want some signets. I'll just like I guess there's a chance we play this card. There's no sense hate drafting anymore. Take Soldier of the Pantheon again because it's like a little white dude that we might play. I don't know. We're going to need some mana fixing if we're going to play an Esper deck. All right, so we got Time Walk. Probably just take Time Walk. Hallowed Fountain is going to be good in our deck. Hopefully it comes around, but I don't know if it will. Upheaval is always sweet if you can play it. With a bunch of artifact mana, but I think we're just going to take Time Walk. Time Walk's sick if you have Planeswalkers. Time Walker's kind of it, right? Just kind of. Alright, so there's a Gruul Signet, or there's a Mox Diamond. I'm going to take Mox Diamond. Torrential Gear Hulk is sweet, and hopefully it comes around, but I'm going to take... I think this Mox Diamond is where we want to be. It's either that or the Signet, and I think that this is just a Mox. You know? And like... If you play this and Tolarian Academy in the same turn, like, it's pretty sweet. The Cut or the Strix are good. So we might get something out of this pack. The Torrential Gearhawk Swick, the, even the Elspeth. But I think we want to take the Mox. I 
Yeah. We're on the same page. Okay, so here we can go on a treasure cruise, which is always sweet. But I kind of want to take Banishing Light as it is just an answer to like Planeswalkers and dumb permanents. And I doubt, like we don't really have a good way to get treasure cruise going online. So I think we're just going to take this. All right, Mind Slaver is an artifact. Yeah. We can take Faith Fetters, which is kind of the same thing. Or we can take Mind Slaver. The thing with Mind... We're just not the deck that's going to abuse Mind Slaver. Like, it's Tolarian Academy. We're just not seeing artifacts. I think I'm going to take this Faith Fetters. Because, again, it just deals with Planeswalkers. Tolarian Academy, how, how I knew thee. Current win condition is Eugene, and that's it. This Verdant Catacombs does absolutely nothing so far. The pack timer started, and I can't see my pack. What's up, Moto? So we have Augur, we have Wrath. Even though I don't really like the Wraths in Cube. I need a way to win. I could take the Augur of Bolas. It's just like a body that blocks. We can try to find some instant sorceries. Or I could take the so the Sword of Worm Beast. But I need a creature in order for that to be good. How many cards? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we might get a card back. Enlightened Tutor for an artifact of enchantment. So Enlightened Tutor finds Mo. Yeah, I think we're going to take Enlightened Tutor. Sensei's Divining Top is terrible without fetch lands. I think, again, this is a pretty easy colonnade. Yeah, we're just, I think we're just going to end up being blue white control. Rip this Talarian Academy. Man, I love me in opposition. I love me in opposition, but this is just not the deck for it. So we can take Bremaz. It's kind of our win condition. That's a weak win condition. We have Batter Skull. I kind of want to take Brainstorm. Like, we've got one shuffle effect, two shuffle effects. Dig Through Time is kind of a shuffle effect, but Bremaz is like... Bremaz, is Bremaz like a legitimate way to win, though? I don't think Bremaz is like... But like... Brainstorm's not great either. But, like, Bremaz isn't good either. Okay, Council's Judgment's good. We'll take the Judgment. So we got some answers to permanence, which is nice. Yeah, I'm going to take Hero. Because at least Hero's a way to win now. Just another creature that, like, we can follow up with. Maybe we'll splash for Rawls Eric. We have Time Walk, so like, or, so like Planeswalkers plus Time Walk is good. Yeah. Madonna's Vanguard, we can keep that. Just Well, maybe we want a Mutaval. I guess we'll just take a Mutaval because we might play it. Abby's kind of the same thing. Like at least Abby makes some 1-1s. One so we, we're winning via Ugin and Batterskull at this moment. These are like the hard maybes. We're gonna need like you I want like a Jace or something like that. Or like um uh, whatever it is. The dumb card that lets me rebuy time walk and take all the turns. 
Corpse Dance, How You Have Hurt Me. Take Firecraft. And that's that's not bad. It's another card to help splash. But we're never flipping Kytheon. Stormbath Dragon, like, maybe. Looks like the ship is sailing on Talarian Academy pretty hard. There's Soulfire Grandmaster. Yeah, we're just taking Soulfire Grandmaster because it's just another way to win with Time Lock. Like, Thirst for Knowledge is great. Ravages of War is great. Volcanic Island's great. So maybe we'll get some of this pack, but this is just like a win. It's fun, David E. It is fun. There's Stoneforge Mystic. So now it's like Stoneforge Mystic or Gideon Jura. There's also an Orzhov Signet. It's a good pack. So there's like four, there's four legit picks here. Yes, it is. So the Mystic finds me Batter Skull. Gideon Jura is just sick. I'll go with the Mystic just because it's cheaper. And it's another it's another shuffle effect for Brainstorm. This is tough. We've already got the batter skull. I'm gonna take Stoneforge Mystic. And here, I think I just take Tundra, make my mana good. We don't have any counter spells, so we're just like a... Now we take the Jit, because we got Stoneforge Mystic, and Umazawa's Jit. It's sweet. It's worse than this cube, but it is sweet. Cube is why I have X-Mage, LOL. Ooh, I see me a Vidal. We're, uh, we're, we're too white to have Vidalcan Shackles, which hurts. I'm going to assume that Angel of Serenity is better than either of these cards. Vidalcan Shackles, I'm seeing Vidalcan Shackles in pack three sucks. Yeah, I'm going to take Angel of them. Yeah, Shackles that late in the draft is always sad. Okay, there's Mentor. So we got ourselves in a nice little tap out control deck. So the Enlightened Tutor finds us Umazawa's Jete, Batter Skull, Banishing Light, or Moat, which is kind of cool, or Faith Fetters. It's got five targets, which is pretty sweet. I'm thinking this hero blade hold, we don't need it anymore. Mirror and Crusader. Palancron is sweet, but I don't think we have the deck for it. I could take Wrath of God, but like I don't think Wraths are very good in in uh I don't think Wrath's very good. I'm just gonna take Kitchen Finks. Yeah, for the burn matchup. If it was Legacy Cube, I would definitely play. I would definitely have taken the Batter Skull. No, the Batter Skull. The other, the other thing with Jigger. All right, I want to take Disenchant. I would have taken the. What's the other dumb card that was in that pack? Uh, Wrath of God. I would have taken Wrath of God. I don't think we need this Hero Blade Hold anymore. Disenchant also could be just main, like, like main deck playable. Time walk's like not great in this deck. I 
Probably just take days. I don't know if we'll play it, but... Ooh, the O-Ring came around. What is Trinket Mage? Switch your iPad with a private console one or less. You're going to put it in your hand if you do something. Yeah, we don't have anything to do with that. Uh, why not? I do kind of want to play this Westvale Abbey just because we've got these swords. We don't have the swords, but we do have like the jet and the batter skull. What's it? So I'm probably going to take Feed Hunter, but what does Academy Ruins do? Nothing really. I do have to be careful with this moat, because if I have this moat, the only creature, the only ways I have to win are Angel of Serenity and Ugin. Well, now Angel of Invention. And I might play that. Yeah, we're not going to lose to Mono Red. I don't think we're going to play the Rouse Eric. I think we might just do this. We're not going to play this Talarian Academy. We're going to play these two creature lands and then just get some blue white cards in there, blue white lands in there, and call it. I kind of like this. I could play Disenchant in my main deck just because it's like it's powered cube. No balls. <laughs> Nathan, we're, we're a control deck. Aren't, isn't this right up your alley here? Like, we're literally playing Mo. We don't need a green card. What, what do we need a green card for? Oh, Kitchen Fanks? No. We'll play another white sword, blue source. Right, Nathan, isn't this like your style here? We're, we're just we're just dirtling. Like, we're, we're, we're just a stone blade deck, you know, just chilling out here. Raul Zarek equals balls. Are you playing Raul Zarek in this deck, Nathan? Is that is that where we're at? We're splashing for one card. That seems that seems loose. Hey, this Raul Zarek. If this was Raul Zarek was a Dak Faden, I'd be down. What am I cutting though? Am I cutting days? All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do what the people want. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do what the people want. All right, I'm gonna go grab another beer and then I'll be back to play to play some play some cube. Eric's, the Rouse Eric's there, so let's play. Let's play Magic. How's your uh, how's your day been so far, Nathan? Join match. See if we can do better than the last one. Last one did not go well. I'm playing Total Tool, my opponent's name. It's Nathan. Look, Nathan, it's you. Alright, we got ourselves a Stone Forge Mystic. We'll keep this. I'm gonna get Taxi and Probe on one. Just so that if we if we hit a blue land, we can play force. We can play the force spike up. 
So let's... Oh no, we have to select target here. <laughs> okay, so we have to actually snip these because of how probe works, which is annoying. So our probe's got dark kite tail freebooter. Well, time, time walk's pretty bad right now. We can't even cast it. <clears throat> how's, um, uh, how's Jackson? So against this deck, I think we're, our opponent's only got one land. Like, it's pretty, it's pretty bold. I think against this deck, we're going to get the Batter Skull. I would like to use Stoneforge Mystic's ability, yes. We're going to get a Batter Skull. And huzzah! Hopefully we drop Blue Land. You know, Blue Land would be sweet. What are you gonna do? You're gonna kite sail freeboot you're gonna dark ritual into a kite sail freebooter man. God, the cube league the cube league LOLs. So my opponent could dark ritual, play walking ballista for one, and then play um kite sail freebooter. Which is like kinda awful, but like you can do that. I mean, it's not terrible, like, but it's just not exactly what you want to be using your Dark Ritual for. We got Walking Ballista. But it does kind of suck to have to use, like, cards to generate mana. When you can't even interact with this batter skull, there's the ballista. And there's the freebooter. It's really dumb how like the cards, whenever you get taxing from somebody, it doesn't show up in the in the in the revealed zone. It gets frustrating. Opponent probably has to get rid of Time Walk, right? Because if I ever get this Monastery Swiss Spirit, uh, this Monastery Mentor down, Time Walk's gonna be like really bad for them. So Madness and Fire Temper counts as dis as two discards if you cast Temper from the one. Dave, did, were you the guy? Did you shoot me a message today? All right, that's a great draw. Yeah, I mean, wait, you're saying fiery temper? I was the guy. Yes, okay. So you're saying madnessing fiery temper counts as two discards if you cast the temper. That's weird. So we're just gonna play this old here batter skull. I think I'm gonna brainstorm also because I would like to hit the land. It just worked that way. That's weird. Oh my batter skull's gone. Oh my god, I was sitting here chatting with everybody and I <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. We, I was like chatting through that entire thing. I thought the freebooter only got instants or sorceries. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, so now we go. So we put this back and this back. Oh my god, I'm such a zoner. 
So now I can go. I don't know, I just completely zoned out. So now I go put these back, play Mentor, play Mox Diamond, play a land, time lock. I just pump fake my opponent out hard there. Oh, again, I messed up my ordering. Ugh, it's been one of those nights. We'll still cast this. Might as well just, yeah, I'll just discard it because it helps with this dig through time. And then we'll just serve in here with this big old Stoneforge Mystic. We've been going for about five hours now, so mistakes have been made. I want my Batter Skull back. Why is this guy taking my Batter Skull? I'm gonna like use this force bike on just about anything. I might even force bike my own time walk because there's a island on top. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do that because hang on. So if I play this, go time walk, force bike my time walk, pay for it. That's two, then it pumps my graveyard and I can dig again. Yeah, so let's go control, hold here, go here. We have a donation deck list from Nathan. I'll have to let me check this thing out. So let me like resolve my triggers here. Let's take a look at this bad boy here. Okay, so let's, that resolves. Bant, Pillipal, Modern, Modern, okay, all right. I want to pay for this. Let me pay for it. Yes. So how does this deck work here? All right, we will put this in on the next stream there, Nathan. Thank you very much. I appreciate uh, I appreciate the bits. And apparently you've unlocked a gift chair for two others, Nathan. I don't know exactly how that works. Okay, then we're just going to serve in with the team. And I'm going to dig through time on my turn. So give me even more prowess. Shoots me in the face. All right, shoots one of those. That's legit. And thank you very much, Nathan. Five. Okay, so let's start here. We don't have a Snapcaster, so we don't have to worry about our graveyard. <clears throat> Always yield. to yield to all of these stupid things. Always yield. Then always yield to the original mentor. So I'm looking for anything I can cast. I can cast Jet. And I can 
not cast Enlightened Tutor, but Enlightened Tutor gets me something sweet, so it lets me cast two spells next turn. Any order. This deck is sweet! You get a mon you get a prowess trigger. You get a prowess trigger. You get a prowess trigger. He's gonna waste me? That's so rude. <clears throat> How am I supposed to win if he wastelands me? God, I should stream vintage. Monastery Mentor is sweet. Moto, don't do this to me. Oh my god. This is like the Magic Online has been on the struggle bus. Oh man, Nathan, with that with that bit donation of yours, I think I just went over the first check from Twitch. That's really awesome, man. Thank you very much. Oh, it put me right to sideboarding so my opponent conceded. And yes, Nathan, the bits go directly to me. And uh, they come to me in like, I don't know, because because you take, uh, the people take the hit buying the bits. So the streamer doesn't take the hit when they get the bits. When you donate through, I don't know, um, whatever it is. Uh, if you donate through like uh, PayPal or Streamlabs, the streamer takes the hit there. What is going on, Moto? I'm probably not going to get sideboard, but oh, whatever. We'll beat this guy's deck without sideboarding. Some things are not necessary in this world. Nope, oh, we're, we're kind of back. And we get back, but we're, we're not back. Because we're going right into the next round, so we didn't get sideboard. But I don't really think we'd change anything. If I remember my deck, I might bring in, like, the Disenchant. Probably the Disenchant, just because my opponent, um... Just because my opponent... So this is kind of weird. So I can probably keep this and just Enlighten Tutor on one for a Batter Skull. Because it's, you know, like, a, it's a thing. Nightbot, what are you? What are you doing to me? Yeah, I'll keep this. We can tutor for you know whatever we need, and then we have an answer to a planeswalker or something like that. Ooh. 
move this over. No, we didn't. So the angel's kind of nice. The angel means that we can also just tutor for moat. You know, I mean, we're kind of all in on that plan, but it is a plan. But I think I'm going to enlighten tutor definitely for for batter skull. Just a big bad batter skull, man. I can do Mox Diamond to like ramp me, but I'm not really ramping into anything. Yeah, we'll just get the batter skull. Get a mute ball out there so we can get our beats on. This is kind of annoying how you can only see the card frames in like half of my cards. I mean, we're getting plenty of speed from our computer here. It's probably just my, my computer's just tired. You know, strip mine me, bro. Strip mining is rude. Messing with people's lands is rude. You should look into those uh, cheers, Nathan. Or at least I should. I should look into those cheers. I'm the one that's <laughs> they're benefiting. Are they not gonna strip line me? Not gonna strip line me, all right. I would assume they'll strip line me at some point. When they do, if they do it next turn, I still can't Dig. Solemn's good. The angel's going to be able to clean this board up, though. That's the plan. If we fall too far behind, then we can just dig for what we need. They do show up. I was just looking at, like, um, I don't know if it, because when you gift a sub, it clicks, it gives you a, uh, it, it pops up as an alert. And I got the alert that you unlocked a gift for two others. Like it's a, a reward for you, I think. So you can gift to other people. I got your gifts. All right, we'll save that Tundra. That Tundra is, is what we're looking for. It's too bad we're not going to be able to dig here. <coughs> That's what it says on my end. But I am the streamer. I am the all-knowing, all-knowing streamer brain. What are your, uh, what are your Christmas plans, Nathan? And your X Mage drafting. I never drafted on X Mage. Never drafted on like a non. Moto content or non moto client. I wonder what my opponent was holding priority in my end step for. That's what you're looking for, man. I have a pact. Um, I'm only home for. I get home on the 20. I get home tomorrow afternoon. Oh, my opponent's got. This is hilarious. This is like what I love about Cube is like the Cube drafts now are that um, when you have the leagues, you just play against mirror cards, which is like not supposed to happen. I remember one time I was playing in a league and I drafted Days. So I played into a Days and my opponent Dazed me and I almost lost it. I was like, that's not how it's supposed to work. Um, I head home tomorrow morning, and then I get home, get back the 22nd, 26th, and then I'm home, then I'm back to work on the 27th. So, Megan's been home. She's been home a week so far, and she's home all, until the 30th. 
you know, for reasons, but it, I bet Megan's enjoyed having the time with her family at least. So opponent has their own batter skull. So we're going to have a batter skull off. This game's going to take forever. At least I have another O-ring in my deck. I'm going to strip mine me. So this doesn't work. Like float one, one, two, three. We can't dig. If only dig was better and cost seven. Wouldn't that be sweet? Opponent cracks me. Yeah, that's all what she's all. She loves her goldens. Alright, so we can uh we can batter skull first, which is sweet. And now on my main phase, I'll just dig for either land drops to get to Angel. Because in these Batter Skull mirrors, it tends to be the first, the person that has the more creatures wins. Because obviously, like, our Battle Skull morons trade off. What do they do? Oh, they cut the token. That's not how you play. Oh, he cut it on my end step. What? Oh, he cut it. Yeah, he cut it on my end step. Okay. Yeah, the golden sleep with her, and oh my god, is that annoying when I'm trying to sleep and there's like two adults and two large goldens. All right, that's a pretty good draw. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I, mean, I guess we dig. Digging seems better than bouncing the batter skull. My opponent can't counter it, so. Okay, so. We can grab Jet, which will win. I don't really want to grab Jet, because then I might as well just grab Stoneforge Mystic. I could just grab Stoneforge Mystic Land. That's the best part of Power Cube, is you just decide to do it. I think I'm going to grab... Stoneforge Mystic land and then go get my jet. I think that's the plan. And then I can strat this batter, call, batter skull of the Stoneforge Mystic. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then I can, if I get an untapped land, I can strap and then play Jet. We're totally going to win this long game. Because Umazawa's Jete messes up creature mirrors. And that's good too, because then we can... As long as we, if we put the Faith Fighters... He can, he can bounce it, so it's not that great. <clears throat> One, two. So I can actually cast Jet, pick the Batter Skull up, put the Batter Skull in play, and pop, block something. That sounds like the plan. Oh, my math's a little wrong, but at least I can equip the jet to the batter skull next turn. No, I can't even do that. Oh, I messed this all up. No, math is hard. Um, I could just faith fetters this solemn. Yeah, I messed all this math up.
So how do I fix my mistake? Do I pick the batter skull up? Like, I don't really, I think I'm just gonna pick the batter skull up and then vial the batter skull back in after I angel serenity my opponent's board. <clears throat> yeah, I definitely screwed this up. Probably just take this shot. Because as soon as we can get this game to a point where we can put Jet on our Batter Skull, we're good. Yes, Dark Confidant's very good in Storm. Because none of your cards are very expensive. And you're all about a critical mass. And I don't think I'm gonna block yet. I don't I think I can afford to go down one more. Take one more shot. My opponent only has two cards. All right, I think I'm gonna cast the angel now. This is as dies. So cast this, get rid of both of these. I don't wanna choose a third target. It does kind of suck um, <clears throat> bouncing up a uh, Solemn Signal after him, or exiling it, because it's got an ETB. But just some of the Legacy Storm decks board, I'm going to hold off here and just have a chump blocker in case my opponent kills this Angel. The next turn, I'll vial in the Batter Skull, strap this on here, and then attack, and then get two counters in the jet, and then we should be good. Torrential Gear Hulk. Oh god, they're gonna murder his cut. Yeah, that's bad. So they're gonna cut this. This comes back into play. My opponent straps. We're dead. And I messed that up. Um, with my count where I couldn't bounce and replay the batter skull and cast the today. So that was, that was my fault. I just punted that game away. Now he's actually sideboard. Now I definitely want disenchants in. Probably can cut force back on the play is pretty good, but the game's going to go long. Yeah, I think we'll just run it back like this. <clears throat> I hope I can two one with this deck. I think that it's I think it's okay, but I don't necessarily think it's great. <clears throat> Seven viewers, thanks everyone for showing up. My name's Dylan Hovey, and I'm a sponsored streamer with the Card Hoarder Network. I usually stream every uh, Wednesday and Sunday, but my wife's been out of town, so I've actually been rattling off, I think it's eight days in a row. I primarily stream Modern, um, so I'm usually a big, I'm a big Death Shadow player. I'm actually going to add a little Death Shadow tab to my stream in the bottom there. Um, yeah, if you guys uh, if you guys like what you see, I'd appreciate hitting you guys hitting the follow button. If you ever miss part of the stream, you can check out my YouTube channel which is linked below and uh, any support that I can get is great. And I appreciate everyone that shows up.
All right, game three in the Batter Skull Mirror. Yeah, it's hand sweet. Kind of a naked mentor, but you know, maybe we'll draw some spells for it. That might be part of the plan. Oh, well, I appreciate that. I'm going to lead off with a Mutavolve just in case I can just pop my opponent. Dave DE, thank you again. I think we're just going to get greedy here. Come in. I should, um, yeah. My opponent's got a fatal push. That's like the only, disfigure, I guess, dismember. Yeah, well, thank you very much for the follow. The next turn was slam mentor, and then I can go mentor, then untap, I can upkeep and lighten tutor, and then go get a jet and get two prowess triggers, and then I can play an angel of invention to pump them all, which will be sweet. The kite sail freebooter, I assume. We freebooting. No, it's Signet. Okay. Four mana. This is Solemn. Solemn Simulacrum, I assume. No, skin renderer. All right. What can I get here? I can enlighten tutor for a moat. I assume the blue black deck's going to have a problem with that. So let's do that. Then we can just win with this angel. And I can Vanishing Light it if I need to. Then it's like Vanishing. Then it's pretty much the Angel. Yeah, let's just get the moat. I would have loved to have grabbed Jit there. Maybe I still should have grabbed Jit with the Angel, but... We're also ahead on time, which is going to be good for this moat. So. This moat's like a must counter, so our opponent is pretty handcuffed on their mana. Swing and a miss. I don't necessarily love. Um, I mean, I guess, I guess you got to play them. You can't, it's not like you can't play it, but. Freebooting. All right, that's still fine. He takes Moat, but then we can play Angel, and we can make a bunch of uh, two ones. I guess we probably go wide. That'll happen, Dave. Like, a lot of times, there's only one person that wants to play the Storm deck. All right. I just want to dig for Soulfire Grandmaster Time Lock. That's all I want to do. I want to get somebody with that. I've only done that once in Cube. Pet that prism. So my opponent's got more mana than they can shake a stick at. One, two, 
three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I'm just going to play Angel of Invention. We might hit like a... And I think we're going to make servos. Or I can just make it a 4-3 four, four, Flying Vigilance Lifelink. I guess we're going we're gonna to make it big. Because then it gets by this Freebooter. I would love to hit a Stone Forge Mystic. Because if I hit a Stone Forge Mystic, it turns on my Brainstorm. Which would be great. We might just Brainstorm for the Stone Forge Mystic next turn. Next turn, but... I probably should have made Servos because my opponent has... Um, what am I say? So my opponent's got Murder's Cut in their deck. So... But then the servos don't really do anything if they murderers cut us. This is just such a big body to fly with. Let's just hope they don't have it. All right, batter skull. This is going to be a very weird race. We're basically just going to take three a turn. Is how it's going to work out. <clears throat> Alright, the Fiend Hunter is pretty good. One. So if I play this land, if I put both of these back, play this land, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. So let's put both of these back. We'll use the dig to shuffle. I can also just upkeep dig. Yeah. We'll get our moat back. As long as my opponent doesn't um, doesn't kill this, then we'll smack in the air to basically trade with this batter skull. Oh, this is a two four, so this blocks this now. That's sweet. So I think I'm just going to get the moat and play next turn. Light and tutor. It's probably for banishing light. You know, banishing light out of the blue black deck seems a little, little weird. Torrential gear hulk. Okay. The so Geralt doesn't do anything. <clears throat> I'm just going to take seven. I'm going to take seven and play the moat. And then just win with the angel. Win with the angel or find Ugin off his dig. I should attack with this. I think. Because it either trades here or like this is just a free block. A free attack, it doesn't matter. I think I'm going to upkeep dig 
next turn because we know there's a land on top and we don't really want to draw that. We'd rather just draw a good card. If this card is close, it is close. Like... I think that if you wanted to just up the power level in modern, like if you didn't want to ban anything, because there's a bunch of cards that should be banned in the format. And if you just wanted to unban some cards to raise the format power level, then Dig could be one of those, I think. Yeah, this happens. I'm going to Lighten Tutors, probably for a Batter Skull. Unban twin, please. Is that because you want to play it or because you have a million twin twins sitting around? Solemn. I still see what my opponent's out is. We're just gonna grind them into the ground. I own a million twins. How many foils do you have? All right, upkeep. Dig, because we know the top card's a land. Time walk is sweet. Angel is sweet. I think we just want time walk in jet. Any order. <laughs> now, like, even if anything goes wrong. This jet's just going to take the game over. Uh, might as well Banishing Light something. It doesn't really matter, though. I'll Banishing Light something that's a problem. We have this Disenchant, too. What'd you? How much did you pick him up for, Cody? And if they got unbanned, then it would be worth a literal million dollars on the spot. Got him. All right, round two. It would probably it, it, what it had to be like. So bitter when bitter blossom was unbanned, it was when bitter blossom was unbanned, it shot up to like ninety dollars. So. And that, that's like on no modern play at all. If Twin got unbanned, oh my god. That would like that must be like a sick I mean Twin has more printings than Bitter Blossom. So like if, if you were to guess that it would be like 70 overnight, would that be fair? So what do you mean the price memory is also a big thing? Hater. Dude, don't mono red me. So where would the non-foils be? Like 30 bucks? 20 bucks? I think we're going to go get the Jet. Because against a red-white deck, I don't think this Stoneforge Mystic is going to live. And I think Jet's going to be like really good. 15 and 20. And it's always just like a super feel-bad whenever your opponent kills your, kills your Mystic. A 
will pass. Get this into play. Hopefully we get to force spike something sweet. My opponent misses a land drop. That sucks. I think Time Walk just Time Walk just explore. And I don't know if that's very good, especially when I can't, like, force spike to protect my angel. So I think I'm just going to pass. Every DNT player in the world. What do you mean? You mean every DNT player? Oh, yeah, we're going to we're going to get that thing out of here. Get force spiked. And we'll slam this angel. We'll make servos. Oh, Kitchen Finks is sweet too because I can actually go Kitchen Finks. Doesn't feel, doesn't it just feel bad when they kill you? Yeah. That's why we didn't get the batter skull though. Play this. I should have I should done this the other way in case I'd rather have my time lock dazed. Strap an Umazawa's Jide onto a kitchen finks and just go to town. Ugh. How was your stream today, Cody? Cody Jones, by the way, you should plug your stream here. What do you do? What do you your uh what games do you play and all that stuff? So get your plug on, my friend. Rawls Eric. I guess I just Is it not legal in modern? Or is it just like not playable? We're not going to cast that. So what is this? This is deals combat damage. So I think I'm just going to attack. Attack my opponent and then dig. Or attack him. Attack Rouse Eric and then dig. Oh, it's not. I didn't know that. Link it. Link it, Cody Jones. I guess I can actually just check on, click on your name, right? Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> you know cody jones that that's what you are my friend what is this guy doing like just let me kill your rouse eric and then just dig through time i don't i'm not asking for a lot i really just want to like play rouse eric i think i'm just gonna dig on my main phase i think we're just gonna like hit a land drop Yes, cards that are not legal is an anti roan That was a sick dig.
Ooh, I love me some Umazawa's Jitte action. <laughs> Arc Mage's back. How did your cube draft go, my friend? I don't even want to do anything with my mana. Is that weird? I probably should play like something, but I don't know what to do. I guess I just play this angel. I mean, I should have done that before combat, but like, let's not, let's, let's level up here. Let's not compound our mistakes. Dropped a fun deck and got wrecked. Dude, welcome to magic. We're going to make, uh, we're not going to make servos here, or we're going to make servos. We're going wide. We have a jet. I can just merc them if I want to. Opponent concedes. Opponent's like, wow, this guy is so good. I cannot continue playing magic with him. So you're saying like they've got they do single elimination this weekend? What is that worth? What is that like a hundred and hundred points to get in, but you get more? Uh, we're in the blue white mirror. I probably just want to be a little more threat dense. But then again, I don't want to cut any of my cards. Nathan, I'm not gonna say suck it in chat. That's a good way to get me get myself banned. You're such a bad influence. <laughs> wow, look at that. Cup is exploding. Hunter to get in. Hunter played once top four, under top two, 220 for the finals. That's not bad. That's it's almost two constructed leagues. Um Do I want to be lower to the ground? Maybe Angel Serenity is not great if it were playing at like, the control mirror. Now nah, whatever. Our deck's great. We're literally making cube great again. Imply second. I need to set up the cheer, the cheer thing here because Nathan, you're just wrecking it. There, there's a little thing that you can put in the bottom of your stream that counts who's been the, like the biggest cheerer. All right, hands great. Uh, how many blue sources do we have in our deck again? Yeah, uh, we'll mulligan. Peter. Put that on the bottom. Hey, don't you talk shit about Storm. All right? I don't want to hear your negativity there, Archmage. All right? There's nothing more that I want to do with my life than sit down at a cube draft and play Storm. So we're not going to brainstorm here. We're going to brainstorm next turn where we can hopefully spike a Stoneforge Mystic and then uh, cast it. Apparently you didn't do it right, son. Opponents look like they're, they're going to jam town. Pet dead prison. Sure. Dude, I hate it when there's nine people in my eight-person pod that are trying to jam storm. It's so bad. This Mox Diamond's going to turn one of these lands into something sweet. God, that's so great. There's literally nothing in this whole world that makes me happier than being brainstorm locked. I'm going to save this thing. Hopefully we can land this Rouse Eric next turn. What does he do? Channel? That's that that sounds like you channeled the shit out of somebody. I can dig next turn. Maybe digging's better than playing Rouse Eric.
Okay, Imperial Recruiter. It's probably bad news. You mind desired on one? Jesus. That's that's doing it. That's 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 the Roan. We got a Kiki Jiki. Now I need to play Rouse Eric and just smoke this so he can't copy it. Get this thing off the board. We cleverly played around our four spike there that we didn't have. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. <clears throat> so I probably just plays Kiki Jiki and smokes this thing. Zealous conscript, you don't say. So he takes control of my planeswalker. Is this like infinite? Like next turn? Am I dead next turn if I don't find a way to kill this thing? Oh yeah, dude. We need to. We need to dig through time. All right, let's start off with this. Holy shit. Okay, so one, two. One, two, we have six mana. No, we're not, we're not about that life. I don't think we have an out for two mana. Time walk? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So time walk plus council's judgment does it? One, two, three, four, five, six. We played a land, right? Plays planes, okay. So time walk plus council's judgment. Also, like, I forgot what's in my opponent's hand. I know they have treachery, Armageddon. We have to hold our land. Banishing Light's good as well. Yeah, dude, they still have a treachery. Like, life is pretty hard at the moment for the home team. All right, we're going to exile. I guess we might as well. Nah, we'll just get rid of this. I don't really want to can't play my Kitchen Finks. Because it gives him a target for the treachery. So I've always got Geddon, Treachery, Land, Kiki Jiki. That's awesome. God, I love magic. Houston, we're getting Geddon. I kind of hope my opponent gets me. Jeez. They should be this banishing light. Is it, it's rabbit. Well, they can't. Well, they, they can't. You mean. You're saying they can't because it's not good. But, I mean, they have Pentad Prism. Yo, Houston, we have a plan. Now, then they can treachery my Monastery Mentor. That'd be bad. That would not be kosher. My opponent treachery my Monastery Mentor. I'd puke. I can let them take Kitchen Fanks. The problem is they'll just untap, and then they'll take it, and they'll... Fucking get me.
Yeah, that would have been sweet. Yeah, you were you called it on the old needle spires. Yeah, the opponent has the right to be wrong. Oh, opponent played a land. Okay. I'd say Houston, we have we have a plan. The problem is that they just like the whole treachery plus Geddon thing is pretty bad. I just make a Westville Abbey token and block for the rest of eternity. This sucks. This is not we're not in a good we're not in a good shape right now. We've trade colonnade for spires. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Let's wait for him to attack. Now the only card... I mean, he's got he's got a bunch of uh, whatever they are. Mana from the Pentad Prism, so he might have other things. Then we'll just block this. I mean, neither. Like, we're in kind of a tough spot just because our opponents get, like, a, a legit mana advantage on us. So what happens if I return the Batter Skull? My opponent takes control of this and gets, Then I get to bring it back to my hand, right? Because I feel like I have the tools to do all right after a Geddon. We can probably just Westvale out of the game here. Now we kind of put the pressure on the opponent. My opponent's playing lands. At least we have lands to like do stuff with. After our opponent gets us, because eventually they're going to have to they're going to have to Armageddon us. Dude, don't speak such hatred hatred words. All right. Take two. We make a cleric. God, imagine if we still had a time lock in our deck, in our hand. Sweet that would be. We're playing defense. Nice thing is, is if, like, I think we can win this game. Because <clears throat> eventually our opponent's going to have to go, like, treachery dead, I think. Okay, or they can just do that. So we have an O-ring left in our deck. Oh, they get their walker back? Sick. Well, this doesn't actually kill me, right? Well, it does, because this goes over two turns. I have to hit my other Banishing Light, basically. I need a Banishing Light. I need a Banishing Light. Banishing Light, and I can still play Magic. Moat doesn't do it. Concede. What a weird game. 
I think I definitely want some. The problem is I have shitty. The problem is my counter spells are just shitty and they don't do anything. My counter spells aren't good. Do I want to bring in like? I don't really want to bring down any beaters. Yeah, whatever. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna bring it back. Yeah, they should have they should have at, at their at their earliest convenience they should have gone treachery getting. Like, even if you got a yeah, days I guess is good against four season CMC plane blockers. Maybe we can get it in here. The problem is I don't really know what to take out. Like, I can get rid of this. Fiend Hunter is probably not great because I'm playing at instant speed. It's not like they're tapping out for a creature, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. That's good as well. I'm glad you're on the ball. I don't know what to take out. The, the, like, the sorcery speed exile of creatures don't seem super great. Like, the angel's all right because you can, like, do it on your own turn. It can, yes. Yep, you are, you are right about that. But I think it's, like, I don't know. I don't know. I wish I had a soul ring. It doesn't really do anything, though. We don't have any signets, no. We didn't we didn't get on the signet plan. I think we can find a better six. Well, if we find a land, we found a better six. I'm gonna play I'm gonna run uh I think we'll run the jet out on one. Cause this takes I wanna sandbag this, I think. Then I'll just time walk next turn. Find six lands, game, yes. Well, we find four lands and we're in good shape. Okay, so we're going to smoke that. I hope we hit a land drop. We did. Dude, you were so right. If we draw land, yeah. I mean, we're, 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 we're going to try to Soulfire Grandmaster combo this this dude yeah I think we're just gonna go like Nahiri hits this time walk though which feels kind of rough yeah you can do that in power cube I think so I can either play soul fire and strap the jet or I can play soul play mo I think I want to play mo now, which one? This is kind of weak against Nahiri. I'm gonna go like this. This kind of gets rid of our game plan here a little bit, but Don't kill my soul fire, bro. Doesn't seem like what's going to happen. Oh my god, do we attack? If we draw a land, we just get him. But I think we're going to get in. 
What does this do? Is this blue? So we need a bunch of blue sources, so we don't even kill them next turn. I think we just time walk now. Because, like... We're, there's no way we're ever getting to this, right? Yeah, I think we're just going to time. Because we're not going to be able to get this. This is two... I need three more blue sources in order to have this work. And, like, that just doesn't seem very reasonable. Yeah. I'm going to be an adult. Yeah. We top deck the blue source. God, if we go run around our blue sources, I'm going to cry. Yeah, exactly. Like, this jet is going to mess up my opponent. Dude, we're six hours into the stream. The, 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 whole, the whole being mindful of things is like... That's way over our head right now, Archmage. I appreciate how tight how tight you play, though. I appreciate everything that you've got going on upstairs. I don't know how people do those twenty four hour streams. You know, like how does how does Caleb Durward like actually play Magic straight for twenty four hours without like I don't know drinking or something like that? I don't know. I feel like that would just make the whole hinges come off, and I would need coffee to sober back up at some point. No, we went, we went a little too far. There's a decent amount of lag in the stream. The viewers. That's probably it. Wow, dude, what a jerk. So does he get my jet as well? Am I just like minusing on this? Probably. How does this work? Yeah, I think so, too. It's just, like, kind of gross. And then next turn, we'll just strap it to the Muta Vault. Man, we can't cast that guy. I think I'm actually going to get a little aggressive with it. Like maybe pump this thing. We got to be worried about like a path or a plow, but I'll probably wait. Well, he's going to do it anyways, so I'm just going to pump this. We can play around it though. But we can't, like, our opponent's not twinning us on this turn, right? Yeah, I think I'm just going to, we'll do, we'll, 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 I guess you're, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, you're right, because the next turn, like, we can't, our opponent can just tap it down, and then we only have three counters, so we die to X arc. As sad as that would be. Though we can kill our opponent next turn. I always forget Jet is plus two, plus two. Yeah, I know what Pestamite and Nikiki does. They couldn't do it last time. They only had two mana. <coughs> they only had two mana. Am I crazy? Oh, well, you no, know, even Pestamite and Nikiki on their turn, right? I'm just saying they only had two lands at the end step, right? That's what I saw. I saw two lands. I might have been mistaken. Searching his library for a signet? 
just like a pithing needle. Grim Monolith. So our opponent's dead if we draw a red source. It's not the red source we were looking for. What does this mean? Does this mean our opponent's gonna get in? Yeah, you're right, they're gonna get in us. Uh, that's gonna suck. So do I just, I just probably just, like, kill this Tezzeret. Yeah, I just gotta kill this. If we're gonna get Geddon, I have to kill this Tezzeret. Then we'll hold this Vantage. We have five counters in this jet, which feels sweet. Come on, dude, don't... Oh, my opponent played a land, which means we're, we might not be getting Geddoned. Is whatever that dumb card does, does that take lands as well? That uh, Zealous Conscript, does that take uh, artifacts? Let me look here. Let's, let's, let's chat here, let's... Permanent, okay. So if my opponent zealous conscripts, I should just kill it and then, yeah, kill it and then gain life. At least not make it so my opponent doesn't gain life. All right, so we're going for it. They gotta do something now or they're dead. So I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna play I think I'm gonna play the I think I'm gonna play the vantage, because if my opponent could have gedded me, they would have. Resto. Um I guess it's easier for me to just pump the resto than to kill it. Pumping go through this than to kill it. I guess that makes sense. Now what am I doing? I just wanna, why does it keep asking me? Give the jet plus two. Yeah, I don't, I just don't think my opponent has a Gaddon. So I'm going to play this, and then hopefully we get to land it next turn. And, like, we're punished if our opponent has it, but I don't think they do. The fact that they continue to play lands makes you think they don't have a Geddon. Oh, okay. I always forget that it's not the creature that gets the power. What do we got? All right. So we let him target. So she's still gaining control of this. Yeah. So I need to go gain two life. Yeah. 
So can I play Ral, untap, and equip? So one, let's see here. One, I might as well play this diamond instead of the plane. So one, five, untap. God, it's so hard. One, two, three, four, five. We have three mana. Make, make one turn on untap. Yeah, we can do both. So let's go. I guess we'll just go tap this, untap this. They can just untap it, but it doesn't, I don't know, nothing really. Like, I don't know. Like it doesn't really do a lot, I guess. Dude, this, this game makes me want to just like slap people in the face that think the jet is like reasonable in modern. Like, do you really want this card legal in this format? There we go. 2 and 0. Going for the 3 0. Going for it. I'm going to go clean up here and grab another beer. I went. I drafted a really bad, a really bad blue-black reanimator deck here a little while ago. So I'm not. I'm not doing perfect here. Yeah, we'll keep this. I usually. I might just time walk on two to find another land so I can play mentor on three and like get myself even further ahead. Especially depending on whatever my opponent does. Well, that's not bad. I mean, that keeps you playing. I do hate that... I don't know. I guess you get 40 if you want to, which is not bad. But... Yeah, I think I'm just going to time walk here. We're going to try to find another land. Want the land right now. God damn it. I guess it's actually... So wait, time out. Ment like, time walk math. Is it actually right for me to do it on turn three? To give me the opportunity to miss a land, right? YOLO. Yeah, it, 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 I find it frustrating that 3-2 in a league only gives you a treasure chest. Like, that's what pisses me off the most. This has got to die, right? Vindicate. At least that wasn't a land. I guess I should have bluffed Counterspell. Well, not when the other, like, going 2-3 doesn't do anything. All right, so we just smoked this. You know, like... I don't know. It's like my favorite card in our deck.
There's a chance I should have cast Council's Judgment. That's okay. So now we Council's Judgment this, and then we get our O-Ring back, and we get our Gideon. So we're kind of just back in the same spot. Yes, we cannot. I would have figured that out once I tried it. You know what I mean? Dude, everybody's good at something. So we can dig and then batter skull. That can be our plan. Or we can just batter skull. If my opponent holds up mana, I think I'm just going to dig at the end of their turn. I think that's the plan. God, my opponent's just going to flip. It's like a tribal Gideon deck. I can see why my opponent's 2-0. Like, they have Vindicate and two Gideons. That is a lot of cards. Ooh, they get my jet. Damn. And they get to activate the jet. That's sweet. Opponent's deck is sweet. They just took all the Planeswalkers and all the lands. And they were just like, whatever. So. I think we're going to dig. Okay, Angel of Vengeance is good. One, two, three, four, five, six. I want to land this Angel of Serenity. And then I kind of just want to keep the cards flowing. So I think I just take Land Brainstorm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. Oh, or I can take Brainstorm Angel Inventions and then just count on hitting a land. Yeah. I think we'll take Brainstorm Angel Invention because going wide against a Planeswalker is good. And have I played a land this turn? I have not, so I'm going to Brainstorm. Yeah, I haven't played a land, so I'm going to Brainstorm. Guess we'll put this back. We can beat it depending on if our opponent has creatures or not. Because we can just Angel of Sanctions, Angel of Serenity, clean up the board next turn. It's just gonna be a tough. It's gonna be a tough one to win, but it's not like we don't have outs. Our opponent filtering through their deck is like is very good. This card is obnoxious. Play a creature. 
Play a creature. Come on. Oh. All right, so now we got a chance. I mean, we can kill both Planeswalkers. Like, on the board, we can kill both of these walkers next turn. I probably should have cycled it. I mean, my, my the card underneath it is Batter Skull. So, like, depending on what our opponent hits, and our opponent has drawn a lot of gas. I mean, they, I guess the, the Jitte kills the... Um, Adanto's Vanguard, no way. Bane Slayer. And equip. That's bad. Dude, I love me Bane Slayer Angel. That's probably going to do it. Because we know our top card's a Batter Skull. One, two, three, four. We might as well just... We'll just pay two life, because I think we're dead if we don't get through this this turn. We got rid of our time lock. Yeah, we're just we're dead now, because now they attack, and they just get rid of this. That was... There's a lot going on over here, there, Tyler Cook. And we answered two Gideons. Do you see this over here? Did you see that? We had two Gideons underneath. Yeah, I think we want to get a little aggro here. The moat's likely not good. I don't think that's how we're interacting besides, you know, the Gideons. So maybe we want that moat again. I don't really know. Uh, against Planeswalkers, you probably want days. You cut Batter Skull and Jet. So they might as well cut Stoneforge Mystic too, right? I'm just concerned with how I win the game if I don't have... Because if I don't have these cards in my deck, how do I win? I guess we've got these two. So maybe I just bring the moat in. Keep the moat. I don't know. I think we're going to lose. Are we on this dude in the welfare train? Can we do this? No. We'll hedge. I can buy the tiny white creatures on the draw. When like the counter magic's not very good. I could take out this enlightened tutor. This light tutor just I should take out I should have poured out the tutor. Oh the tutor finds banishing lights. So no. Fuck that idea. So this hand like does nothing. 
but it accelerates us on mana. So if we draw anything sweet, we're going to be good. But I think I'm going to Logan. Alright, we'll keep this. Give me a land. That's like the wrong land. I want another white source. I'm going to put this on the bottom. Even got, this guy's even got Lumbering Falls. Oh god, let me... Just just let me daze something, please. One time. And if Four Spike is good, then daze is better. White Source. <laughs> Sasha Colony is a little less accomplished because that's funny. Nice Gideon deck. I'm pretty much gonna force like anything my opponent gives me the chance to do. Yeah, that's a closer, closer uh, assumption. Just we turn into bug. Are we just like a bug deck that double splashes Gideon's? I don't think I can cast this Enlightened Tutor because it doesn't find me like a mana source. I need to draw lands. So I'm gonna lose this game if I don't draw lands. My opponent does, and I don't. You got it. You got it, dude. Do this one. Get four spiked. Yeah, we know we're playing some cube, Ronnie. There are legacy cards in it, though. God, just tap out. Dude, just tap out. God, he's going to tap out. He's not going to tap out. That's all right. We can face fetters it. With days back up. This is cube on moto. The kids think it's cool. <laughs> You're such an old, angry man. Just hi ya, dude. I guess that actually matters how I stack that. I just like went really quickly through it. God, are we gonna get there? We can even if our opponent plays a planeswalker, we can just enlighten tutor it. We we played modern earlier there, Ronnie. We're six hours and thirty minutes into the stream. We've been going all day. Dak. Alright, Dak's good. I just thought about doing it in the upkeep. I'm a consultant, so like, 
I work weird hours. <laughs> like, I worked three 12 hour days, and then I worked four hours today, and I was like, fuck it, I'm out. Merry Christmas. It is nice. It is nice that I have a cool company that lets me do that. It does suck that, like, when I say I work three 12 hour days this week, I say, like, Glory Bringer, this deck is, this guy has just got a huge pile. Uh, Jund Death Shadow, my friend. Jund Death Shadow. Tassiger. This guy's, yeah, this guy's not fucking around. Uh, I guess we get Oblivion Ring. I have to stack these right. Opponent concedes, I think. There are things that I'm okay with. Dude, in cube, if I haven't seen it, I'm okay dying to it. There's only one in the cube. Like, I'm not playing around shit. So let's get rid of this. Well, my opponent's got such bombs that I kind of want to keep all my, like, four spike effects in. I'm going to get rid of this disenchant. We're going to give ourselves a cute little beater. Yeah, we're going to go like this. I could bring in one more, but I don't really know what I want it to be. Oh, I'm not cutting mocks. Oh, Dak Faden takes it. Oh, that is gross. The mocks have been so sweet, though. But if Dak, if Dak did steal it, that would be vomit-inducing. That's like a million for one. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Ronnie, if you're still here, this is what... If I could sleeve up... Uh, tournament. What the fuck? If oh god, Moto's just losing it. No, we just have two. Uh, Ronnie, if I was gonna play Modern tomorrow, this is what I would play. Uh, this is what I would play for Jund, and I'm, it's like within I don't know, like four cards. What I would play for Grixis. We're playing Jun Shadow. This is close to what I would play. I might cut like another fair card for a fourth Lingering Souls. And then I think this is what I would play if I was going to play Grixis. You have that rabble Jund. Man, I want to play Jund, and I want to, like, play Abzan. I just want to grind people out. But, like, Modern is just not about that shit anymore. Two Grim Flares, two. Yeah. Card's been sweet, man. Yeah, this is what I would play if I was playing Jund, and this is what I was playing if I was going to play Grixis. I went 4-1 with this list tonight on the stream. It'll be up on my YouTube channel if you want to see the VOD. Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah, we'll keep this. We can deal with a Planeswalker. Hopefully our opponent doesn't have, like, four. He 
Yeah. You have a point. You have a point, sir. All right, if we can, like, not draw any more lands, that would be sweet. I did, like... So I, I streamed a Jun deck, uh, I don't know, probably... God, better... Probably like three weeks ago. And I misbuilt it a little bit because I don't really know what I'm doing. But I'm sure that... I'm sure that a Jun deck could survive now that plays. I haven't dabbled into Popper, no. Nope. God, that's our win condition. We're going to draw Time Walk. And then we're going to Soul Fire Grandmaster Time Walk our opponent. Popper seems. It seems cool. What, what, what sucks about, like. Popper is that you just don't get you don't get any viewers <laughs> I would play commander if somebody gave me a deck I, would, I need two conditions to play commander I need a deck box with I need a deck with Jace the Mind Sculptor in it and I need a six pack. We're just going to sit here and we're going to look at each other and we're going to be like, hey, what are you doing? And then we're like, hey, what are you doing? Be like, hey, man, this is what I'm doing. You get a planeswalker, and you get a planeswalker. I'm sure many popper people do, but like you, when you have good decks that have good mana, you know that's that's how that works. I think we're both just kind of you know on this chilling out plan. Uh, I don't really want to jam. I guess I might as well just jam this Rouse Eric, because, like, if it gets countered, it's going to get countered. Then I can, like... That makes sense. All right. All right, I, there's... Okay, so I was going to say... I say we might as well just jam. There's like our opponent does not appear to have our opponent does not appear to be like a control deck. They seem to just be a Playtron. Nah. I don't want to do that. I'm just gonna face fetters some whatever this thing is. Xenagos the Reveler. What? All right, we're going to face better than this thing. Yeah, I think I'm just going to... I'm just going to minus two this and face fetters. That thing. And then I can... Yeah, we're just going to clear the... Keep the board clear. I could play Soulfire and... Nah. I don't really want to play uh, Soulfire... Until I can time walk. And then when I time walk, like, that's going to be sweet. Oh, yeah, this thing hits players. I forgot about that. You're right, Archmage. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. I messed up. No, you're right. I forgot that Raul's error could hit... Um, can hit players as well. Huntmaster? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. 
One, two. So we can play one, two, three, four, five, six. I can play Soulfire and um I can play Soulfire and Angel. Then my opponent just passes and kills my Huntmaster. Give me one second. We'll be right back. back all right um so what are we doing here yeah i think we're gonna we're just gonna so let's go let's tap this oh no hang on let's float a mana let's tap this let's untap this play our home girl Servos. Play to land, right? All right, time walk one time. One time, time walk. I'll take a dig through time. Like, if you twist my arm. Okay, so here now they're going to kill this and this. Our main man, Soulfire, Soulfire Grandmaster. Time walk. Damn it. Um, I guess we just take this Ravager. This Ravager is just gonna be really annoying. I don't know what's I don't know what's in my opponent's hand. Like they have four cards, and they didn't spend. It. I mean, they wanted to flip their Huntmaster, but what can they have that's that's scarier than this, Huntmaster. Because this Huntmaster is currently working us over. They just can't cast them. So if that's the case, I think we just wait. We just make a token. We'll pass. Come on. We need a time walk. Okay, so now they're going to be able to double green us up. Artifacts, creatures, and enchantments. Okay. So now I'm just banishing like that. We'll take a shot here from the old Ravager. Probably this is my favorite card that I've never played a lot with. It's all right. We'll just we'll just hit it with a Banishing Light. Like we're in good, we're in all right shape. We just need to find 
We should find a time walk. Find a time walk, that would be sweet. Or Eugene. We haven't cast Eugene yet, this entire draft. Play Tarot's Rug. I just want to, I just want Eugene. Like Eugene off the top would be sweet. Way to go, Dave. That's awesome. I think this is going to be the last match of the night. I'm thinking. It's what I'm feeling. Yeah, we're just gonna like let this thing smack us. It's not doing anything. We can just flip this Abbey too. Like, I like dragons that do real things in MTG. Like what? Like what kind of dragons? Nice Trigon Predator. Don't do it. Uh. Oh, Trigon's not an ETB, is it? It's an enchantment? Alright. Excuse me. Come on, time walk. Dig through time? I'll take dig through time. So we probably have to hit this Trigon Predator with Council's Judgment, and then we bring it back with Soulfire Grandmaster. Can I just draw a time walk? Like, the problem is he's gonna flip this Huntmaster now. I mean, I miss. I came to that too late, Archmage. I came to that right after you said it. And now we need like, now we need Eugene, unless our opponent casts a spell. I probably should just trade this off now, because he's going to flip it. If we know this is going to happen, right? I guess I make him not cast a spell. Yeah, I mean, we kind of force him to, like, take a turn off, I guess. We should have a spell to cast. <laughs> Come on, Eugene. Come on, I haven't seen Ugin all day. Give me an Ugin. Hit this. De we're dead. I had to block. I guess we're not dead. So we block. We go here. And we actually have to hit the Trampler. And then we can chump to get in and give us one more shot. One could make an argument that I should have force spiked. No, I couldn't, because then I couldn't make a thing. One more look at Eugene. Dig through time makes it gives us a sweat. We're dead if they animate the Lumbering Falls, right? Come 
Come on. One time. Don't do it. Don't do it, you scrub. They're taking they're taking the time. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it to me. Don't do it. Oh, is this real life? Alright. I mean opponent's probably got a removal spell. I'm gonna force spike the shit out of this removal spell. I mean, we're still in a lot of trouble either way. Like, even if they do land a Eugene and we minus four, they can just kill it. God, why do you gotta do that? Okay, it's Gilded Lotus. Whatever. The turn 11 Gilded Lotus is not that scary. Come on, one time Eugene! Can we take... We can't take this. So let's... Oh, an Angel of Sanctions? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, that is it for tonight. Um, I thank everyone that showed up. It was a great stream. It was a, we streamed for seven hours tonight. So again, on your way out, if everyone can hit the follow button, that would be great. I appreciate that. Um, and I'm glad that everyone showed up and had a good time. And uh, you'll be able to check out all the VODs on YouTube. So take it easy, and we'll see all of you guys later.